How is your jacket got nothing on it? That's what I'm saying, man. Bro, I don't survive. That nigga said, hey. Fuck my bacons up. Hey, you can, hey, you, hey, you can see that, you can see that from a mile away. That nigga woke, he got us so slow. He's like, you motherfucker. Nah, nah, don't try to play me. I really feel like I didn't get it. Bro, bro, my head was down. Because as soon as he said that, I was like, nigga, that shit's on my pants, man. Look, this nigga. I didn't even know I know, we lied, we lied, we lied. We back, y'all. He flinched first. He flinched first as soon as he seen me stand up. And that gave me a extra second to to take the cup. Uh, then Tone literally fucking Tone fucking came, appeared out of nowhere. Yeah, Nigga, Tone Tone came wall. Tone came 10 minutes before that. He looked at me, bro, and I'm like this. I'm like it's good. Like, that fool's like Shadow Cat right. from the X-Men just But if we include the Atlanta like Mall Cup fight, there's oh like there's a house God. phone cup attack yeah, you <laughs> compilation <laughs> coming in the future if anybody has any more. This could be a running gag. Oh my god! Bro, and of course, it's the Listen, spot you used to work at. It just had the, it the one day I had juice. a Jamba Juice. I've never had a Jamba Juice on the pod. Oh, it would have been way more viral if I took it to the face. Pause. Pause. Is that was that a strawberry Pause. surf rider? No, nah, I was a motherfucking uh, mango madness. My pants is in school. Damn it! I got I got it on my own self. I don't understand how I did that. My shit. Nah, but look. All right, all right. Listen, y'all. So basically, um, you know, what I'm saying. Shit got heated, bro. Shit got heated, and uh, me and Adam went up, went outside. We was about to squabble for real, for real. This nigga's like, you want to talk? I'm like, Adam, get the fuck away from me. You were like, if you come over here, I'm going to fire on you. And I'm like, I hope he's talking about punching me and not some Tory Lane shit. <laughs> the, the way oh, you yeah, said no. to... I the, meant punch you, not... I was no, like, all right, I'll walk away. I got no... I said talk, though. You sounded kind of aggressive. Like, no, you want to talk? Like, I didn't even I know you was, was behind gonna, me, I was just bro. trying to keep... The conversation going, I was like, well, we're off camera now. I guess we could probably fight better than we were on camera. So. Yeah, no, I didn't know you was even behind me. So that's why I was like, nigga, if you come over here, you're getting fired. I meant fire like punch. I, I, wasn't about I, to I thought about it. I'm like, it could go either way. Either way, I'm just going to walk bro, away. Bro, regardless, I wasn't about to pop you, bro. You, you thought you thought Houseman was going to up the pole? What the fuck? I mean, that would have been I'm, amazing. I'm, He's a drill yeah. rapper. <laughs> yeah, man. But we just did about 40, 40 minute off camera podcast. Just so that people know. The best uh, yeah. no jumper show in months, to be honest with you. Yeah. It was just, I, I mean, I wouldn't have cared if we had that combo on camera or not, but uh, maybe maybe it needed to be had off camera. And I, and I do want to say, I apologize for mentioning anything about your mom and the funeral or whatever. It's just, honestly, like in that moment, I was just struggling for anything I could say to express the fact that I really do care about you as a person and that I didn't, you know, whatever. That's what I was trying to say there, and I apologize for bringing and, up her name at and all. And you know what? I'm going to never downplay you on that, bro. Like, that shit helped me out a lot in that moment. You don't even understand, bro. Like, I was in the bank struggling, trying to figure out how I was going to literally move my mom's body from the hospital to the mortuary when you sent me that text and sent me that bread. I'm going to never downplay you on that, bro. It's just the fact that got the um, the thing that got me mad is you saying that you paid for the funeral and that just wasn't true. Just like you said that what I was saying wasn't true uh, uh, about you doing it on purpose is the same same, right. same sentiment, bro. Over generalization. I apologize. <laughs> Timing and tone play a lot into it as well. And tone, two tone. And tone. But yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> no Joker is like. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Crazy company. What Yo, social media is like right now, but I, I, I literally I, I I walked in the office. This fool fucking Josh had a almighty suspects lean cup full of Pepto Bismol. He's so stressed out, fool. Like Josh, like, yeah, literally for sure. He's probably yeah. gonna think that he was every really doing day. That. Yeah, it yeah. is bad. crazy. Sorry, Josh. Josh, is, man. I'm just glad we've gotten to this point. This is what I've been waiting for, was the fact that you guys were able to sit down and talk this all through because... Well, Adam shouldn't have been so scary and canceled the damn show last week. Well, for the record, we were supposed <laughs> to do it just me and you, which that would have been crazy. <laughs> like, what? If we had just... Because that, that's Hell what, no, you probably got whooped That would have been way worse. No, because me and him were having that conversation probably worse, like 10 worse. minutes. Yes, definitely. Probably 10 minutes before we were supposed to go live. And I was like, let's just do it just us. And he was like, all right, and then like two minutes later, you're like, actually, no, no, never mind. So that would have been basically the combo that we just had off camera was the combo you were trying to have before. True, and I was here. I was here. I got here at four thirty. They told me you were getting a haircut for the record. So? Yeah, but 
We talked for like an hour before we went live. Yeah, we, we had a whole. We did, I was right here in the other room playing well, we videos. Like, that I, seems I, I, I did say. Do Shout you want out to Ezo Catch. I, I, I did say, do you want me to snatch phone? Ezo, you got quick, me next. And you said, but you, you said he was getting a haircut. I was just like, oh, no, I've just, never interrupted someone in the middle of a haircut. <laughs> this seems like unbelievably unfair to have like half their head looking good and half the head fucked up. We could have. We could have. Anyway. Could have fin- We could have. You're right. But I also was like, but that's why we trust Enzo. Ezo. Ezo, sorry. <laughs> He's like an I mean, Italian guy. <laughs> Isn't that a car? Anyway, no, nah, but Ferrari, fool. yeah, yeah, exactly. No, nah, but um, I accept her apology. My bad for throwing a drink on you. Um, my fucking that's drink. your that's your go to. He did the only one. What do you mean? Head. My I bookie. Fucking, bro, that shit was all over me. What the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, look at my pants. Look at my jeans. I just oh, bought my these. Pants. I just bought these all right, today. Cool. I, I needed uh, another excuse to go to Nordstrom's. So. I just bought these today. Hey, Paige Jeans. If you if you want to send something, send it. Or some more fashion. Or fashion Nova. Nah, yeah. I fucked over my deal, so they don't give anything. What'd that. you do? I'll talk about it later. Oh, this ain't like, about me. He's about you too. <laughs> He's told that story like ten times on here. Yeah, fact. Main character syndrome. Not today. AD mediated me and Adam uh, fucking I was coming together. wondering, though, like, if there was, like, a ceremonial thing that I should do to just try to, like, emphasize this being water under the bridge. I, I got an idea. Hopefully it's not as bad as what I was thinking. Get on all fours right now and let the house oh kick God, you in what? the ass. No, what? No. <sighs> Why nah, is that? That's not th- what I was thinking. That's no, that'd be good, good content. Come on, <laughs> no, let's do it. No. I was thinking not maybe hard. we should do like you know the His slap leg fights, fucked up anyway. The Dana White slap fights. Oh, I, I think <laughs> that would mean a lot you? to them. I'm not saying I'm I'm surprised. <laughs> let he ready. Who me? Bro, let him kick you. You gonna let him slap you? Kick in the butt. Kick him. Let him kick you in the butt. That's the weakest man. thing I ever. Now let him slap. Let him do it. I don't want to slap you or kick you. No, kick us, man. Get your shit off. I was about to fire on you, really. Kick us. Man, imagine that nigga, we actually he's about to let you do it. Too. That whole thing could have been. Way or let me kick him. Although I would have looked nuts if I started swinging. <laughs> I mean, I probably looked nuts either way because I just took my jacket off. And then I was like, never mind. I don't know. I was ready to go regardless. I was my, confused. Just because my leg is fucked up, don't mean my hands are fucked up. I believe you. <laughs> These hands. You gotta work. put that in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. We all know. Oh my god, bro! But um, yeah. I mean, what should, should we talk about the hour combo that we had? Because I mean, people just people. The last thing people saw. Wh- where'd you cut it off at, direct Josh? After you got taken off, we just mm. cut it. Yeah, definitely. You got Krishan rocked. Yeah, I definitely got rocked. <laughs> re- I definitely got re rocked. Very simple. My boy treatment. got toned. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you should you should definitely uh, pay tone more too. Hey, hey, everybody. We already know what the 2023 uh, beef compilation is going to include. Oh, God. All you got to do is bring up No Jumper. Yeah. No, but we know we had the one already from last year. Yeah. We got to start now, I guess. There's, this There's is like already the, like the World Star fight compilations. Put that in the notes to, to not include that. <laughs> nah, that's for show on there. Bro, what, that got to be in one. That's yeah. for show on there. Yeah. For at least for the month of January. Yo, why? And this is the Set last the bar day. for the most no, heated no, Pete moments. Game. This is the last day of the month. And why is this is it? month? Yeah, it's is the it? It's also my son's birthday. Oh, yeah, no. Thanks happy a lot. Birthday. It's your son's happy birthday, birthday right now? Yeah, today. Happy oh, birthday. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, birthday. Happy yeah. birthday, young Stro. Now, with that being said, LA why has for life. this month been jankier than the entire last year? I don't know about that. You really feel like that? Well, you had a janky time because of the Flacco shit, right? Didn't help. <laughs> yeah, that was a month. That was a month before. That, didn't, that was all. Oh, that this was nigga, this month, fool. This nigga been. That was this month that too. That was this month. And that like a couple weeks the, before I met. And all that entail. It's just so funny that phone was phone was literally calling me like a concerned cousin, mm. hitting my line like it's gonna be all right, lush. Just, just, <laughs> I'm like I'm like everybody has their weeks. It's just your week this week. Yeah. Next week after that, boom. I was trying to set up the boxing match. <laughs> well, that is the thing that, like, really sucks is that I think. Was I was I down for the boxing match? Especially yes, right was. now, it's like, I think we've all seen how important it is that we move as a unit. Yeah. So that's why this shit sucks so bad is that, like, we already know better, you know? And that somehow still this happened and gave us the absolute opposite effect. I just want you to know really that, no you know, I'm. I might not have been the best team member before. All is forgiven. In the past. <laughs> All is forgiven. I forgot about every single time you didn't show up. I'm, let's just throw that out there. Clemency. 
<laughs> clemency. It's clemency. I'm, I'm it's, clear. It's, it's clean this slate. This is the, the right. presidential You pardon. got immunity. All right. You're Kodak Black, and I am oh, my, Donald you're J. Trump. Trump. <laughs> Might not have been the best team. Man. Yeah, no, I was just, you know, I was just saying I'm, 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 I'm here for the gang, man. That's all I'm saying. That's all I was saying. Talk about it, boy. I appreciate that. And, I mean, that, that meant something to me when we were sitting there, and I finally got a little bit of softness out of you, and you were just like, man, if I really hated you like that, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. No, that's Phone right. needs a raise. Hey, but- Phone, <laughs> needs a raise. <laughs> Phone needs a raise. Phone needs a raise. Phone needs a raise. The raise is usually contingent <laughs> on showing up, but, I mean... <laughs> You got a little bit of softness out of him. How about a little softness out of you? Fucker. This fool's arguing every fucking every half fucking sentence. sentence. I'm what a litigator. You mean? <laughs> Just know that no jumper chain is on the way to be a high rollers chain. <laughs> Just <laughs> know what you that. Traded that. Oh. I traded that bitch in immediately. How do you trade in something? He has clemency. Leave him alone. Melted it down. I traded it in. That's all you need to How know. How do you trade it in? I was just curious. That's what you, you give it to a jeweler, and yeah, they finna melt it down. They finna re rock it. And then re rock it. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I support that. Whatever <laughs> you need to do. You know what's crazy, too? I didn't pay for it in the first place. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I didn't pay for it either. There we go. Clemens just gave it to me, and then you took I it, and then you it. got it re rocked in the first place because mm-hmm. when I had it, it was terrible. It was fucked up. It was like, you could have hurt someone with this thing. It was like mm-hmm. ridged as fuck on the edges and shit. But you know what? It was the homie. It was, shout out my nigga Junior the Jeweler. Yes. It was Junior's first chain I think yep. he ever made. This is true. So then mm. he came back, re-rocked it, gave me better diamonds, white gold, yellow gold. You know what I'm saying? I was wearing it with pride until I was betrayed <laughs> <laughs> by, the, by the captain. So you hit, you hit him up like, hey, I hit him up immediately, now. dropped it. No, I feel like it would almost be less expensive to just... Get it made from scratch, right? Well, no, because yeah. they're, no. they're gonna take the. They gotta cost. make a no, new yeah. mold. They gotta make. No, it already had to make a mold either way. Well, no, True. yes, but think you're, about but it. You're then, you're then getting the uh, the dollar I'm value only... of whatever the the market price of the diamonds and the well, gold no, is. Think... Just give me yeah. a second, because speaking of dollar value, I know a great place to get some value for your dollar, which is with my bookie. It's a new year and a new you, so give yourself a fresh start with my bookie. Whether you bet to earn or to make the games more exciting, my bookie gives you the most for your money with their redesigned deposit bonus. Just use promo code no jumper one word on a deposit of fifty dollars or more to receive a cash bonus instantly to your my bookie account. Using this bonus is simple. Bet your deposit amount just once and you'll be ready to cash out. It's no strings attached with my bookie. Bet on the NFL, the UFC, or play for a share of big cash prizes in the weekly online blackjack tournaments. With so many brands to choose from, you need a platform that makes it simple to bet and win like my bookie. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. You I'm had be, to do it. I'm going to be laughing at this moment for a long time. <laughs> you said like this. <laughs> Oh yeah! All right, hey, I can hey, imagine. Hey, Community can we reacts. Can we? Oh, this is coming. Community <laughs> reacts. It, you know, I it's was coming. so scared. I was just sitting there. Hey, I didn't know what. To you do. know, it's coming. <laughs> I want Josh, us, can, can we, we get a it? playback of the yeah, end, please? We, I have to see this. I, can we? Please. React to this right past for the culture. <sighs> Are you putting it up on the screen? Please put it on the screen. Need that. Let everybody see this shit. This is amazing. I mean, they already seen. I mean. They, if they, they were watching, I'm sure there's no shortage. Is this going to be split up into two episodes? It's on the fucking. It's already on the channel. I wouldn't do that normally. How, how, how long was that? Like 30 minutes? Maybe? <laughs> I thought I really that was actually mad quick. That Felt was like, like a lot. That was shorter than like the Kelpie fade, wasn't it? I know. And that I, was longer than the In Kelpie retrospect, fade. Kelpie really should have been there. <laughs> or uh, excuse me, Tone should have really been there Damn, for the Kelpie bad situation. Bad podcasting phones on the phone. This is bad podcasting for us to be reviewing this <laughs> right now, at, but who cares? Look at my face. I already know it's <laughs> <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs>
Oh, we gotta leave it. Never clean that wall. Oh my god. That's no, hey, hey, look at look at look at House Paul's fucking Frame face that. right here. Bro, the memes are gonna be stupid. Frame that. Check, check. Hold on. T Rail crazy ass. T Rail. What's up, dude? Where you at? Y'all back on live? We back on live. What you got to oh, say? Y'all going, going back on? We already on. We went oh, back yeah, on. Oh, yeah, it's back. It just got back. Oh, all right. That's good. T Rail, what you, what you got to say, girl? Oh, suicide, suicide in the, in the building. building. We could have used you oh, earlier, suicide in the bro. building. <laughs> oh, yeah. You nothing. Know nothing happens. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. Let, let, let T Rail, what you say? Hey, bro, that, that really was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? We need a big bro. I really hate that for us, bro. You feel me? Like, that's a, that's really embarrassing for us. Like, oh, come on. Definitely... Get it back in blood, bitch. T-Rail, <laughs> we know it was embarrassing. We know it wasn't ideal, but that's okay. I mean, come on, dog. <sighs> the principal. On, What's he dog. doing? <laughs> this is not the energy we need. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, where's it? oh, hey, Josh, they were, oh, he hung up. He, hung up. <laughs> <laughs> he just shows up, gets messy real quick. Where's that hung Oh, my fucking what the God, fuck? bro. Wait, you lost in the football shit? When's the Super Bowl? Mm. I don't know why he didn't. It's going to be a good one. Huh? He should have, uh, Josh offered him double or nothing. Oh, really? The Super Bowl, but. Well, you can't tell a man how to bet. How much you, does t Row owe you? Cool, but he owes a lot more collectively to the streets. Yeah. Damn. He owes these, the streets are coming to collect. What's up with this bad podcasting? Uh, I, I feel like I can't say anything about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you can't say nothing today. <laughs> so like take that gunshot to the leg. I, yeah. I feel like I can't do it. I wanted to see him kick you. I thought he was going to do it. Clemency. He said he was down to get slapped. It's crazy. That well, I was just kind of joking. Just because that's the the new popular slap way of him, competing. slap him, slap yeah. him. This is this is your you new mark. You don't want to you don't want to chant it. Chanting, he chants everything now. It's like you got your mind twisted from the live shows. <laughs> I could just chant anything. I'll hit you, hit you, <laughs> hit you with the Jamba Juice. <laughs> Jamba Juice, Jamba Juice. Hey, you need to get a sponsorship after that. For sure. Nigga, I worked there. I gave them. So Wait, many Smack years is calling now. That's the best. Hey, hey Smack, we live. The Jamba Juice got since the Travis Scott show. Uh, uh -oh. Smack, what's the Smack, narrative? Smack, what you got to say live? What's right the narrative, here? Smack? I just want to say, bro, I, we all won, bro. We all we got, bro. Don't let this shit fuck us up, dog. Man, Get it you, back in blood. Man, you was dick riding that nigga really hard the other day, Smack. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. <laughs> I thought you, he was fair. That, that was a crazy narrative, Smack. Just know he'll what? do it to you, too. What, what's the crazy narrative? The, he... What's the narrative? Everybody. Hold on, T-Rail calling. I'm putting him a three-way. Oh I'm, I'm getting this my bad podcast. what we need. I'm getting my bad podcasting off today. I don't give a Thank fuck. God. Hold on, I'm about to merge you. Oh, my God. Smack hey. hung up. What's up, T-Rail? Hey, I got one more thing to say. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Man, I can't wait to throw a drink at Adam. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Oh, I hope he does. I didn't know we could do all of that. I'm telling all this shit on my head. I can spit on you. I can fire on the nigga. 
And I can throw a drink Oh, I can't wait till I get mad. Listen, Mr. Skeleton, yeah. I got a different hey, response for you if that happens. Sure, man. I'm glad y'all niggas back at it, man. Yeah, you know I mean? That's how I niggas Hey, I ain't Frank man. Ocean, T-Row. I'm going to get real nice. <laughs> 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 take off your jacket on me, Adam. I'm going to beat your ass. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the jacket. I'm going to up yeah, the ball on t I want to see that, I I wanna, I wanna <laughs> that jacket come off. <laughs> nigga, tone him. He locked up. I couldn't even do nothing. <laughs> he was sorry. That, that nigga up. big as fuck. Y'all do y'all thing. Right, oh, but yo, I just thought that, bro. that's going to be a narrative. People are going to think that I had Tone on deck like that on purpose. Tone was not in the fucking room. Tone wasn't room. even in the room, bro. Mm, no, no. Well, they're going to think he was. No, he know. was right there. He looked at me. That's that football I was like, player that I'm like, shit nigga. or something. He must have played football. He just stayed He's doing this. He's a boxer. This. Oh. And he played hoop. Hey, just, just so we can get this out of the way, and <laughs> yeah. just because I'm really excited about this product, we just found out about these ice cream cone edibles by Baked Bags. I have the birthday cake flavor. Actually, no, the birthday cake flavor. There's probably the pink one that's on the floor. The pink one is the yeah. birthday cake flavor. On the yeah. floor. It's over there. Uh, anyway, you can't go wrong with any of these. Yes, thank you, Ezo. Ezo Cuts. Ezo Cuts. In the Not to be confused with Enzo. There are these mini ice cream cones filled with chocolate in six different flavors. What else could you ask for? Baked bags is the shit, and I won't be shopping anywhere else for edibles. And they ship right to your door. Get coned and use code JUMPER for 30% off at bakedbags.com. That's 30% off of your entire order with code JUMPER. Link in bio. Wait a minute. Apollo is calling now, too. Apollo! Oh, oh, my God. Yeah. We live. We live. Everybody's getting Yo, their takes I'm off. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. House on got a smack the there you goes off Adam. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Thank God you picked up. <laughs> smack the what? Thank you for your uh, insight. Oh, he says smack the Birkenstocks off. Oh, the Birkenstocks. You gotta smack the Birks off this nigga right now. I'm gonna smack the surfboard out of you. Get up. <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> All right, get back in blood. So we can't just take everybody's take. I'm doing what I, I, I'm. Hey, I'm going crazy today. Yeah. Okay. We bad podcasting today. It's amazing. It's actually more fun. That seems fair to say. It's more fun. Sure well, wish I was. Sure wish I was streaming right now. Ooh man. <laughs> what would you be saying if you were streaming? Oh, I'm gonna I'm say all type of shit. You think Plus. Remo clipped that? Such as clipped. You know he's already. I'm not trying to smack Adam in the face, like you know. <laughs> Consensually. Academic <laughs> said, IDK if this is stage, but W content. <laughs> See, I told you, bro, nah. everybody's going to think that should shit. Should I call academics, too? Oh, my God, oh, no. Wait, no. Listen. Why can't we just talk to each other? <laughs> hey, should we just tell everyone the truth, you guys? Should that it was staged? Like, that this whole month has been staged? That's actually that be that that would be some great content. No. I don't know. I wish I thought of that. Everything earlier. from the beginning was fake. All I know is don't put me in any other storyline. First, it, it all oh, started God. with. Um, Wait till the AD storyline. It all started yeah, with you, the fake. You gonna see this motherfucker? <laughs> yeah, no, look, Remo didn't. Put nobody's it up. gonna work here anymore. You're gonna be the star. Remo didn't put no, it up. No, He's I'm trying going. to be tasteful. Tasteful. It all started with the pretend. Remo, put that motherfucker. It's because it's Adam. Yeah, it's because it's the boss. It all started with the pretend classmates. Of Flacco that are actually just eight. And look at these fake narratives. No jumper house phone throws soda at owner Adam Twenty Two. We yeah, don't somebody, drink soda around. Somebody here. else said that I threw a coffee at you too. It did look like coffee. It smelled like alcohol, but I don't drink alcohol. It was your drink. Yeah, I'm I like know. nigga. What do you mean? But it it, it's, it had like a. You think you spiked your drink? You spiked your own drink. Nigga, that shit was sitting there for like twenty look at this minutes. Great podcaster right here. Yeah, what the See, fuck is going on? Thank God we had that meeting earlier. You really instilled yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You really stepped it up since then. <laughs> hey, okay. it's, it's amazing. This nigga texted me individually, asked me to come in for the for the meeting. I got here 30 minutes earlier than he asked me to. And we had a meeting without you. And this nigga Lush had with the meeting fake info. He, Lush told me he's getting a haircut. I was like, what oh, do you mean, the he'll fake come over after you the haircut. You see this, you see and this I said I'll right snatch up? him up. Like... Yeah, AD, I, was, I wasn't trying to avoid meeting. Let's I actually talk about wanted to. AD. How earlier you, when I asked you, I was like, "Do you get burnt out because you be doing uh, all the other look, streams?" I got smoothie on myself. And whoop de whoop de whoop. At least you got fast reaction. And then reactions. you were like, "Nah." And then what would you just say five minutes ago? I can't wait till I'm streaming. Oh. Bro, I'm joking. God damn. But, but that is <laughs> this I'm nigga streaming. crazy. Look, that's one of the main things that I see people call. All right, look, you're not getting no raise by no, doing no, that. <laughs> Give that's one thing people call us out for is like. Doing the stream and then talking about other content that we made or like business or whatever. Like they want to hear us talk about our actual lives. And I was thinking about that because I was just listening to Joe Rogan and Louis C.K. talk and they were talking about how the problem- nigga pull his dick out? That was a separate yeah. incident. But right. the, the reason the <laughs> thing they were talking about though is sure. just the fact that 
if you're like a comedian and you stay on the road doing comedian shit 100% of the time and you don't have any time to be at home or like be a normal person, then it kind of becomes hard to be funny and like have good observations about life because you're just doing this comedian thing that's not really relatable or whatever. And so that's why I'm just saying on this podcast, as a general rule, I feel like they don't really care about hearing about our analytics or about, you know, like the the, the business type stuff. That's one thing I see complain about a lot because they feel like you guys on, at the end of the day, kind of default to just talking about you today. No, but they say that. With you. <laughs> you, you haven't seen that in the comments? Then you don't read the comments on your own post podcast because they always are trying to call you no, guys but out they, but, they, but that's the thing. It's that just, makes, that's just my That's advice. what makes at the end of the day fun, though, and that's what I was saying earlier. But it's not fun if they're they just talking about their own individual streams. Their motherfucking views ain't dipped at all. No. Okay. People like that shit just because it's like it seems like it's organic. But also like fun. that to me right there was kind of like that's part of the problem is like if some if somebody has advice it's like it's not an attack. I'm not taking advice from you today. Today I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna listen to everybody else except you. I would advise you to read, read the comments on your own podcast. They hang right. out. They hang out. Duno buys burritos for T Rail. All kinds well, of that shit. Is, hey, that's he racist. Fucking, he literally bought him a burrito you the other racist. day. <laughs> he bought him a fucking burrito. Well, you, you get to say that because you're from the barrio or whatever. It doesn't he said matter. Earlier. He bought him a fucking burrito, and you get fucking juice thrown on you by your co-hosts. It's all bad. Wait, hold on. I got on, a burrito. On. I got some juice. Some drama juice. Speaking so. of Hispanic food, who's this other Hispanic nigga that be on? streams. That's him, Icon. Right? That's Josh's Icon. Icon. No, you know his friend, right? First uh, of all, yeah. First of all, he's a music I, uh, video director. Not only that. He's like, real good. Not too. only that, legendary, um, mm-hmm. he was on a, a legendary label back in the day, Chicano rap label, Brownside mm-hmm. Records. Shout and, out to and, Brownside and, Records. R.I.P. R- R- Joker. Fun, fun fact. Rest in peace. When all the motherfucking Hispanics came up here, mm-hmm. he was right here with Duno to have his back. I swear to God. But one thing about him is that he became part of history because he was sitting there while Flacco and mm-hmm. Almighty went at it the other day, which, wow. Also, that was wild. Y'all, we know y'all lined that up on purpose. How the fuck did that happen? I'm Why pointing at Josh. Josh, Josh who, who, and I said, who, niggas, who chose is, that niggas is stupid Josh. as fuck. Let's no get a word like from to, Josh like, to, uh, like each other and sit right there. So these guys had collectively talked about Doing these new streams together, they've sat down and done them in the past well with other them people. them too. Yes, together. Yes, with okay. other people. This was not the first time they had sat down. Mm. It's not since the Monday show mm. ending. Really? Are you sure? Yes. But I will say, I Josh, do not. I do not all think Almighty was going to do nothing to Flacco at all. No, I and I don't think, think Flacco. Was I, was I told to... Almighty just to be totally transparent. I told Almighty that that kind of energy on the news makes us look a little crazy. Now I understand he has his personal issues with Flacco, and them if they want to talk that out on camera, that's great. But it's like when we're attempting to do the news and it gets that personal and that loud, that to me is like. That's the kind of thing that we really need to be like working to avoid got the on views. this show. I would say, you know, it got the views. Yeah, Kinda, but it's it's, really. it's it's like internal like three hundred thousand views on the on the clip. I, I watched academics reacting to it, yeah, so that kind of says good. a lot that academics cared enough to react to it. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, in general, I think like that's the kind of thing that we should be try, trying to do privately. Even though they probably want us to do it privately, but I think they also know that at the end of the day, that's probably better done privately. I think that all, like Almighty doesn't. I think he's aware now, but at the time wasn't aware like just how abrasive he was coming off. I don't think he meant it to be like that. Mm. Like I know, like the him and I back and forth that people were like all incensed about. There's like that's Almighty like a nephew. Didn't y'all know right? each other for like 10, Bro, 15 I'm years? Like, like so you're not gonna admit that during the the music stream that it got a little oh I a mean, little like, extra. It, I will admit <laughs> that he looks. Crazy as fuck and plays himself out when he does that. Right. 1,000%. I don't think he looked crazy. I was about to say, I don't he think looked he normal. On, I, on, listen, to, I sat here for like an hour people. and watched it go down. I to felt like it, it, it went a little far. He looked crazy to the people. And I'm just going to use that to my advantage. And when everybody's like, like okay. Go look. Oh, so you're just like exactly. looking for an opportunity to look good. So you don't care if somebody berates you. All you're right. just like, well, it makes me look good. So Time to call it. Flacco. There, there's Finish the job. Else. We need another uh, <laughs> another another take. What else am I what else am I supposed to do? That's no, I mean I thought you handled it pretty well. Yeah. But I felt bad because then I would say something joking on you a little bit and he would combine it with his narrative of being like, fuck you, Lush. Hey, it's 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 all good. Just know that the internet don't like to see people bullied. I've been on both sides of this now. There's a lot of truth to that. The internet loves to figure out who is being treated unfairly and Remind. Nigga, they've been tearing your ass up, boy. That's the chat I've... is never wrong. Yeah, you've been getting mm-hmm. thirty clips. The chat, the chat is, is often wrong, wrong, but never, never, never. 
Well, then, oh, no. then how do we explain those rough couple of days that you had there? At the so end they of were the 100% day, right? I didn't know, but I deserve that shit. So, like, at mm. the end of the day, they're not wrong. They're going to, mm. even if they're not, even if they are wrong, you can't tell them that they are. There's I would no say, way. like, the Tory Lanez thing is an example of the where the chat the, is often wrong. In the words of Smack and T Real, it's a wobbler. It is a wobbler. You, know I mean? you can't Haven't just you say that about everything. Said, like, yes, you can, actually. <laughs> no. You it can't, fits. You can't it's a wobbler. You can't argue put that in the dictionary now. You probably argue, is. You can't argue not with for that, chat, right? but not for that. You huh? can't argue with the chat. You can't beat the chat. Yeah. You can argue. You can argue, argue with them all day long. They're gonna tear your ass up. Yeah, you can argue with them all day chat long. Chat is never wrong. See, but no, but but you but you can't try to pan. You can't try to like try to win. You can't try to win them over either. They're gonna see through it. Of course, of course. I feel like that's where you were going a little wrong. Man, be unapolog- you know? um, unapologetically yourself, and you can go home and sleep on your fucking pillow. It doesn't matter what anybody say. Man. That's no, hey, shit. real talk. I can't wait to wash away this month and start fresh, clean slate next month. Ooh, Valentine's. Th- Valentine's this has been Day. hell of, hell of, like, a uh, catalyst for growth. I think for all of us, and hopefully we all just are stronger going into this, you know, new cycle and all. I hate to try to find the silver lining, but I do think that's probably true. No, wait, speak, speaking speaking of next month. Your boy phone and high rollers will be in Utah for the NBA All Star Weekend. I'm doing a high rollers pop up in Utah. If you're out in Utah for the NBA All Star game, tap in with me. We got a special colorway of the NBA, not NBA, but we got a special colorway All Star game high rollers dropping February 17th through the 19th only. We Very will see special. how hardcore your Mormon fan base is. Limited edition. Yeah, fact. I, I have no out. idea how Crack and No Jumper is in uh, I Utah. Oh, I guarantee you they pop. Be I think they. On, I think right? they want. Uh, they want us to do like a club night out there too. Yeah, John, if you guys want to come, John Stan. Shout out to John. Shout, shout John out Stan. to John Stan for setting this up. John Stan. Yeah, I don't man. know. That was a good name. That's the um, New Era collab me and Phone did. Mm. Yeah, we did the. Bro, they got overshadowed bro, yeah. about, with the shit. Got, oh, no, but you know what? It didn't get overshadowed because you know what? Every time I was watching somebody's story, the ad kept popping up on my phone every two front, fucking seconds. Front really? page. Bro, what? Yeah, New Era Club. Bro, we're at front page on NewEra.com. We came a long way, bro, from, from the, the hat, hat battle. battles to us us trying to uh, show each other out every week to doing the hat battle to getting the actual. That's how I felt when I put this jacket on today. I was like, I feel like I look like one of AD's hats. Yeah, I got some different shit patches. I thought you had a chrome heart jacket on at first, like the the uh, sex whatever. Sure. Oh, I got to since, since we're talking about like, hats, I got to give a shout out to Cap City, that my shit guy hard. Justin. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. well, you repping Oakland right now? I'm going to Fap City. Whoa. Fap City. Rap City. Crap City. Rap City. <laughs> Fat titties. <laughs> Mad glizzies. <laughs> I keep thinking of funny shit. I can't say it. Jamba Juice almost put a crack in me. Ooh. Jamba Juice got my fit sticky. Thought well, House Phone was about to turn me to a pack, didn't he? <laughs> 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 I was going to get merched. I feel like a vulture sitting on a perch. I didn't bring no blit because I was like, Tone's going to shoot me if I try to shoot at him. Fuck a god, Not bitch, I you look like first. Lurch. <laughs> I don't want you to get shot in the, cross, in the crossfire. That would have been crazy if we had a shootout in the office because... They think we faked that too. Yeah, they would. Maybe thought. Josh could have like the special effects on deck. <laughs> <laughs> that was about as real as it could have gotten without us actually squabbling. It was. It felt intense for a second. I just knew, like that's why I. Looked Lush just down. kept looking at me the whole time. I'm like, let me not look at Lush because I'm gonna laugh when a homie is being serious right now. Everybody's very respectful of the mics when they squabble on the podcast, though, because Almighty did the same thing. He was like, went for it and then moved the mic. Threw his headphones back and then. Oh, that's swinging. one thing I didn't do. I I couldn't. I, I didn't throw the headphones off, so they were attached to we me. We did the have whole a, time. a couple of headphones. Nigga, when you was walking off. Yeah. It was. They, <laughs> he was walking off with the headphones. My, but it's, just, it's literally my month of no jumper Bro. between getting called out for a fade, getting dragged through the mud, getting win, lose or draw, through. win, lose or draw. Adam, I need a fade you right should, now. You outside. Said that. And Damn, I should have said that. And I fucking. Fingers deep in a motherfucking porn star. Before we get into mm-hmm. that, though, I just want to reiterate, I'm deeply sorry about everything that you had to deal with as a result of my decisions, the business's decisions, the employee's decisions, everything about that, and uh, 
you know, I just I intend on making it as right as possible. And the fact that you even still want to be a part of the brand now that you have had this Nigga, uh, I've been annoying here for memory. Too long, bro. I'm not about to just like throw this shit away. I just need you to really understand how serious it was. And I felt like at first you weren't understanding that. Stop but looking I at me. Like, I feel damn, like after nigga. we talk, you guys are immature, <laughs> deeply. I feel like after we talked just now, I feel like after how does this not automatically register to you as inappropriate while we're having this conversation? <laughs> Shut the fuck up and let us talk. Jesus Christ, you guys suck so bad. Oh, terrible. No. What was even funny? <laughs> he just keep looking at me like nigga. Oh, I'm sure the audience is, 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 is. I'm sure the audience thinks that's super funny too. I was. Thank God you derailed this whole conversation to I laugh was, at your your own inside joke. Ah, 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 Jesus. All right, all right. Um, you know, I've known you for a long time. I've known you uh, to not really be that apologetic to people. So the fact that you really uh, took your time out to apologize to the kid, I appreciate it. I thought she was pulling the blicky out right now. No, oh, that's the, it's the <laughs> but, uh, What the fuck was this energy 45 minutes ago? Well, I mean, I we, had like to, we had to get through stage one. And I kind of, that's, that's, even going into it, I was like, I feel like I know we're going to be able to get to an understanding, but I also feel like, I know that there's going to have to be some kind of confrontation or, like, heated moment going into this. Like, it just seemed like I know how much bullshit you've had to deal with as a result of it, so it was probably going to happen. Bro, like, I'm not even trying to be dramatic. Like, my whole life permanently has been tainted. Probably the wrong word to use, but... <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> I mean, at least, at least you made, like I said, at least you made a bro top freestyle. Bro, you listen, was leaving hints your whole life. Listen, a lot of motherfuckers... <laughs> A lot of motherfuckers would have would have not been. You're able pushing to a fake narrative right there. It's like, funny. Yeah, but you like calling them gay, and I no, I said I'm on not. the news like I never ever thought that, and I really don't think it makes it's you. not gay. I don't think it makes you gay to do that with a trans person either. I just want to throw that out there, even though I pretty much said the opposite of that on Sludge Lords a few weeks ago. But <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, listen. At the end of the if day, bro, it don't count. It's neither. Uh, he here has nor caused there. me to rethink many things. Pause. It's neither here nor there, bro. At the end now of the day. Now you gotta suck his dick to make things right. Whoa. Jeez. Yo. What? <laughs> you really are. You're really going for it there, Lord. I hope the chat agrees that how inappropriate this, this energy is. <laughs> You're Jesus. really going for it, bro. I'm just Jeez. saying. It'll, it's well, a great equalizer. Nah, it's okay. I think I'll skip that part. Yeah. But, uh. Fucking Christ. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys have. I mean, yeah, I, I want to do more shit together. I want to figure right. out more ways that we can work together and everything, if anything, you know? It's like, that's, that's like the only thing that I really care about getting off as a result of this conversation is that yeah, I do we, care about you a lot. What we're not going to do is keep getting the little jokes off, though, so niggas got to cut that shit that's right here. That's what I'm here. saying, Lush. What the All fuck, right? dude? What the, what did I it do? makes me rethink, because I feel like you're like having too much of a jovial attitude about the serious conversation. It's like... I don't think any, like, we could very easily just have this podcast exist without having to fucking make that a reoccurring joke. No, nah, look, like, the reason why I'm feeling jovial is because I'm just happy that. Yeah, I'm that's happy cool, too, but you're not supposed to act like that. Keep shit moving the same way it's been moving. Nah, that's cool, but, like, shit, like, nigga, we just had a real ass combo. We just hugged it out and all this other shit. It's like, bro, I'm not about to sit here and get, like, really? joked on right now, five minutes after that shit. Y'all could joke about that shit later or whatever. But niggas, I'm about to sit in my face and joke about that shit, especially you sitting right next to me, nigga. No, I wasn't, I wasn't joking on you like Well, you was, nigga. Fuck that, you mean. That wasn't my intention. Okay, I well, I'm checking shit today, so. It's all good. Don't get caught in the crossfire. <laughs> <laughs> but he's right. Like, Big I, I totally bone agree with you. energy. Like, God, bro. Fair enough. It's just, Fair I think enough. we should be able to, like, okay, remember? When, like, <laughs> I'll, I'll bring it up fuck, again bro. because you just. That's like if you was talking about some, like, serious ass drug story and I was in the background, like, yeah, ha, ha, now you got to smoke the pipe with them. Ha, ha. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, because it. you you brought it up silly. that thing about your mom and the conversation that we had where I fucking made an inappropriate joke. Remember how much worse it was because AD laughed for like five minutes straight. It's like if you have to. Why are you gonna point me out? I'm just saying that. Go go rewatch it. It was crazy. That wasn't about AD. Damn. I'm just saying in general, you gotta respect the tone of the podcast. Like when when there's a certain tone. He threw Mikey under the when we were off camera. He immediately was like, even though it was Mikey. Mikey Oh, ass nigga. Remember AD? Mikey knows. Like I I feel like. It would it would be justified for me to Josh just fired so Mikey for that, but then I also felt like that was unfair because like, am I really supposed to? I don't know. Josh got a stress ball in his hand right now. <laughs> That's why that nigga ball. Why are you why are you stress balling? No, hey, my bad, fool. I didn't mean it like. That. Nah, we good, but you know, come on, man. We good. 
<laughs> Josh, <laughs> people don't know how funny that is because Josh has to like turn on like three knobs yeah. before he says. Yeah, just got a brand new sound anything. system here. I'm trying to push all the buttons. No, like no, that's, that's new. Crazy. Yeah, it sounds good, right? Crazy. Does it sound way better? That's something I haven't yes. really. Yes, we'll listen it, back to it. But probably not what they're talking about, but yeah, that's good. No, I have a very inappropriate sense of humor sometimes. I like, feel you, but yeah, at like, the same time, I just think when there's a certain tone to the podcast, I feel like we should try to be respectful of it. No, one thousand. There's so many clips of like you oh reading the uh, reading the ads or something, <laughs> Dean just dying laughing in the background. So I feel it, bro. But it's like you know, we just we literally just like almost squabbled, had to fucking. I was about to just pull off like fuck it, fuck this shit. I ain't coming back at at, at that point, cause, but you know, you was I, in the car. I was literally in the car. He was in the car with the other Josh. Yeah, who convinced you to come back, or was that your own motivation? It was AD, AD and Lush. They was you both just right there. To him. So you are bad, but you are also good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know, like. <laughs> I, look, I try not somebody to be, gonna fuck uh, Lush up. You better be uh, quiet today. I, I, I try not to be honestly, too I'll irrational. Eat I'll, I'll eat it. Pause. As long as pause. no pause. <laughs> I'll eat it uh, as just long took, as yeah. everything's good with everybody. Like, I'll be the sacrificial lamb in that instance. I'm about to get a fucking lamb tattooed on my back. I'm feeling like the lamb. I'm eating halal, driving the lamb. <laughs> Drive, driving the lamb. And Van is calling me. Van, I'm sorry. Is he really? Yeah. I answer? talked to Van for like an hour like really? last week. Yeah. All right. Fuck All right, it. Yeah, we got Van. Some, you, got, you got a lighter. I don't know we live, Van. Mind. Yo. What's the deal? We still hey. live. Y'all still I know y'all came back, man. I thought it was about to, I thought it was over, bro. We all we, did, I we think. Thought it my, was nigga, over. my nigga phone did a, ju- a juice buy. Phone, bro, what, what was that? Was that Snapple? No, nah, it was a strawberry <laughs> surf rider. Was... Hey. <laughs> like, like, look, we, like literally my whole household, Kalika right here, the dog, everybody, my whole household was it, stop laughing it's not funny babe my whole household was shocked and appalled at the display on the show disconnected tonight i'm happy that you guys were able to get this, this is not disconnected, not disconnected. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it became disconnected a shocking display that, that reverberated throughout beverly hills listen y'all need at no jumper i'm serious y'all need to make black history month a drama free month at no jumper it's going too crazy now. It's like it's, it's like this. This is, was the last day of is, drama. My mama called me. I don't even want to hear what she Oh my say. god! <laughs> this, this, this can't be. I'm glad that everybody's okay. <laughs> like I'm glad that it's good. House phone, call me later. Like look, no more drama at no jumper. I just seen Almighty go off on Flacco not even two days ago, and now y'all throwing juice on each other, man. Spread love from Black History Month. Real. Love y'all. <laughs> Love Thank you, you, man. Man. Much all right, love, man. I don't even know what my mom's going to say. Van, uh, Van, Van and I had some good conversations throughout all this. It's very nice of him to have he taken said, such an interest in all of our phone. lives. He, he said he that. Did tweet that. Yeah, but, then, he, but me and yeah. him have had like a bunch of conversations about this while it was going on, and that's crazy. He was talking hey, to you. Hey, fuck it. Shit. I got to call my mom. Oh, thank God. Fuck it. Just call everyone. She, hey. You know, she's been invested in this shit. This is a tick. We're going to talk about it. What you can do. Hey, mama, we still live right now. Oh, you are? Oh, oh, okay. I was just checking on you, son. You got to tell me to right. take the trash out. What's Love up, you, Mama. What's up, Mama AD? Me too. All right. Mama, that's house phone. Tell her, hello, hello. Hey. Hey, moms. Hi, right, Mom. You stay strong, okay? All oh, right, shit. Guys. What are you going okay. through? That's right. Fuck the white man. All right, we out, Mom. <laughs> what are you going through? <laughs> she told house phone to stay strong, fool. Oh, I thought she was talking to you. God damn it. <laughs> Nigga, my fucking you. family thought was had me on suicide watch all calling me and shit, acting like... I was about to jump off a bridge or something. I'm like, bro. God damn. I mean, listen. That was yesterday. But that phone, wasn't even like. You did make it worse. You put a bullet by your foot. Okay, no, no, no. Oh, man. That, that? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. That, that was real, that. real quick. on that. No, 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 no. Someone's calling you. I just recently got rid, rid of one. I had an extra bullet that I didn't know that was sitting on top of Allegedly. my luggage. Allegedly. It was sitting on top of my luggage. So when I went to go grab my FTP blanket, it fell out onto the floor. And I just took a picture of it. I didn't think it, I didn't think people were gonna think I, none of that. I, I thought was, it was more likely that you were basically saying you were gonna kill me than that you were gonna kill yourself. No, no, I was not. I nobody's really getting it was killed. It just a random bullet fell out. I was on the toilet taking a shit, and I went to grab the FTP blanket or not blanket towel, 
and the bullet fell out from there. And I and it was on the floor. I was like, "Oh, that looks cool. Let me take a picture." Ooh. Let it out, love. Honestly, one. honestly, this let it out, love. One. Honestly, I hope that this like whole experience showed you how much people. Oh my really god, fucking Every, care about you. Everybody thought that I was fucking. I was like, "Oh shit!" I didn't. I was not trying to post a cryptic suicide message. I wasn't trying to post a cryptic. I'm about to kill Adam message. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is not that big. Of, not that it's not that big of a deal, but nigga, I'm about to go to jail for this white nigga. They gonna throw me underneath the jail. That is how it works in this country, isn't it? You got a lighter? Anybody? We're all sharing the same lighter. Although I think that might have been my lighter. Hell no. Plain red Bic? That sounds like you me. You tweaking, fool. I had one earlier today. You're I'm just saying. 1,000% tweaking. But you're right. How would you have got it? Because I didn't yeah. let you use it to light your Newport. Yeah. That nigga Lush will light a Newport anywhere. So you're importing those illegally, or how's that work? Yeah, I mean, I got it. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> you just got like a, a, a... I went to New York last weekend, and I was able to purchase it. How many could you fly with? As many as I want. For real? Yeah. What? Oh, you really can't buy them no more out here, huh? Nuh-uh. You should That's just straight crazy. traffic those. Yeah. Like Newman and Seinfeld. Well, I wouldn't have, if I was going to traffic them, I wouldn't make, I wouldn't. <laughs> I, <a great laughs> Enzo got reference. that one. Enzo, you had it at least. <laughs> Anybody who's <laughs> seen the episode I'm referring to is, would get it. Yeah. Wait, which one was that? When he was driving the, the truck with all the recyclable bottles and shit. Oh, I, you, I, I wouldn't get it from New York because their taxes a bitch. Oh, out yeah. They got the worst cigarette taxes. You go to Texas They're or something, they'll probably give them like $4 a pack. I got a bitch in Ohio finna shoot. Them. No soup for you. Yeah, well, that was a different enough. episode, but yeah, that was funny too. <laughs> What uh oh yeah okay so you you traffic cigarettes right um fuck it feels weird to just jump into like oh let's talk about Sky Bree eating Jake Paul's poop oh that was great <laughs> why did that randomly because like was that interview like recent or something yeah because she did the Cuff Boys podcast and I'm not gonna lie like the Cuck Boys Cuff oh right <laughs> I, thought he, I thought he said that Cuff Boys is but crazy. they are essentially the interchangeable yeah you could you can say that. that's fine no shout out the Cuff Boys but uh. They uh, interviewed her, and I will admit that that was not really something I wanted to hear coming out of Sky's mouth. I'm like, this is a little too much for me to be hearing from you. You might want to just not share this in the future. Do you be like kissing her when you do your plug talk? Oh, for sure. Not, not no more. I, I don't know if it. I ever kissed her. Mm. But we don't have that kind of energy off I, camera, trust me. Is, mm. there, is, is, there, is kissing a part of plug talk? Sometimes. And sometimes I feel guilty because my girl's going to read into like which girl's asses I eat. I really no. dislike. I mean, you, you got to just commit to it and just like eat every girl's ass. Wait, wait. Doesn't think Let's talk about your experience. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get back to that. Yeah, yeah, because I... it's kind of fire. So we interviewed around. Carmen Karma, who yeah. is like very notorious and famous right now for uh, you know basically having the gnarliest hotels on the internet. I guess it would be fair to say. Like more more than Kazumi. Yeah, because she told the story about how a guy nutted in her, and then she went home to her boyfriend, and the guy was eating her out and basically ate the nut. Basically, she That's has crazy. zero respect for her significant but other. But she was she, she clarified that she was talking about her ex-boyfriend and that she wouldn't do that to her current husband. Her, her current husband. I was fingering her, and she went home to her fir- current husband. Oh, her, her current boyfriend, or her current husband, like, if you watch her TikTok, I mean, I don't really understand how he puts up with some of it sometimes, because it's she, wild. She's... Anyways, but, but yeah. no, but like, isn't that the whole thing? Is like, if you gonna be involved with somebody who does that type of work, like you. But it's one thing to like get, get fucked though. on camera, and it's another thing to be just saying crazy shit like on your TikTok with him. That's and the a, stuff I'd be surprised. And, and it's another thing for. to come on no jumper and have lush. Touching you, <laughs> shit. that I think is allowed within the confines of their yeah. relationship. But listen, every time I ever done a Patreon, who am I with? Ad, uh, Flacco. Duno, I, I think Duno and I did a couple, people but in relationships. basically people who weren't gonna fuck with the girls at all. Right. And then she starts getting all hyphy, stripping and everything. And I'm thinking like I'm just gonna stand over here and just let her do her thing because I don't ever touch the girls during that. And then I realized like Lush is not really trying to walk away. That's not what happens. <laughs> and so then she he, she gets on top. Okay, the what's Adam your Mary version did. of it? So it all started <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> ten, ten minutes before the pod. Josh is like, hey, you want to do this Patreon interview? I'm like, all right, for sure. He's with, I'm like, who's it with? He said, Karma Karma. I'm like, let me Google this bitch because I haven't heard, like, I think I heard the name, but I don't really know who that is. So I look up her porns, right? I was like, okay, I see the names of her porns. All right, cool. Go in there. She's real sweet. Like, hey, what's up? Nice to meet you. Then she's all, um, and, and I, she's like, oh, I'm Carmen. And I'm like, oh, yeah, no, uh, I, I, I seen you before. She's like, oh, you saw my Sharp interview, right? And I said, nah, I seen lesbian 
Vampires Part Two. And <laughs> just a random film you picked off her Wikipedia. I, just saw it, I literally saw it on Google, That's but cool. I had never seen it before, right? And then she, she's instantly like giving really anecdotes, and I think that kind of turned her on. She's like, "Oh, he's a fan." Da, 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 da. Like, so I like put little nasty thoughts in her head, right? Mm. Then we start playing her like a fiddle lush. We start doing the interview. Um, everything's going cool, and then like. She, I was going to walk over there because it's time for her to suck off the dildo and whoopie, whoopie, whoop. And then she's all like, she's all like, hey, why don't I give you a lap dance? And I'm like, oh, okay, for sure. Like, then she takes out her titties. She's like, feel on my titties. I'm like, I'm Hammer like, time tits, by the way. Because I got, yeah, the first photo I got was you touching the titties, and then the next one's you touching the ass, and then the next one's like a video of her just grinding on you. I didn't even post them anywhere because it was kind of a weird moment on the yeah. pod, yeah. I'm sure my ex was sick to her stomach. Oh, wait, no, I did. I tweeted one. Okay. <laughs> but nah, so then Twitter's she, definitely the place to get that shit off. But then she's like, yeah, playing with the titties, and she's like, those are nice, huh? I'm like, yeah, I start, you know, then then she's like, smack my ass, blah, blah, blah. And I'm trying to, like, be cool. I don't want to get, like, too weird about it, because I could have got super weird, and then, like... <laughs> and she probably would have been down. Yeah, because you she spit in her down. mouth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He she said, hawked a loogie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Freaky. Loogie. You yeah. probably could have smacked. No, I could. You feel should me? Should have like, did it. But should not tested. It, right? Yeah. You got to get tested. No, nah, you should just let it fly. I'm well, like, you should. You, no, you would like the, to, but she wouldn't let The you porn star bitches do not be playing with that shit. They're like, good. Nah, they should said, not. She said it was good. Um, I could say from experience, they should not let it fly. But, Who said it was good? She said, no, I'm saying. Oh, she said it was like. She said it was, it's up there and it's stuck there. Mm. But uh, I was like, uh, then she was all like, yeah, um, I'm going to suck off this dildo, but I need, like, my mouth is kind of dry. Will you spit in my mouth? Oh, she's And lit. I was like, moi? Bro, I wonder <laughs> when she swallowed that, how much she tasted it. Because I'm going to be real, like, that shit in the back of my throat, it tastes all right to me, but it's like, no, nah, pause. I didn't, I, okay, I, but it's like, if I feel like if I ate someone else's loogie, it would be the worst tasting thing Besides probably their shit. Well, like, no, I, I tried to it be conscientious. Wants- I didn't get snot in there. Oh, you, you just went me? pure saliva? Yeah, it was pure saliva. I, I, made, I oh, got you a thought- copious amount of saliva. I got yeah, lumps of chicken new, in the back of my throat. Newport residue in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a smoker, you got some feisty-ass oh, fucking no, but I'm very, uh, phlegm. Y'all see, I'm very conscientious. Like, every time I smoke, I put Altoids in my mouth and all that. Mm. So it brought... Because remember, she said, like, oh, you smell... More mint. She she was like, oh, You're smoking a mint-flavored cigarette and then scarfing down mints It's very difficult to distinguish between them. (laughs) Not infinite mint. Remember, I don't know, you can watch the video. She said, like, oh, you smell so good, da-da-da-da. She likes mint. I'm playing with her booty, and then You go home and you brush your teeth with mint. I'm start fingering her, and she was tight. She's a real nice girl. You fingered her. I fingered her a little bit. Would you fuck her on camera for her OnlyFans? If, if for her OnlyFans? Yeah, if she was just like, let's do it. Let's do I'm the scene. I'm considering it. Wow. I'm considering it. Adam be your I agent? Would. I never thought I would, but like, it might be kind of cool. Use the bathroom real quick. It would definitely be a moment. Yeah. I might have to pee at some point here too, but. Ooh. Send pics. He's going to send me his dookie. What time is it? About eight. We, we've been on Anxious how long? Anxious to get on your stream. Yeah, exactly. We already know. This <laughs> no, is exactly what we're talking about. Ladies, ladies night tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm chilling. Oh, waiting okay. to get on someone else's stream. <laughs> no, I'm not on the stream tonight. Oh, to observe I'm someone act, else's I'm, stream. I'm actually going to play a video game. I'm going to play Dead Space. I'm doing my community gaming. I'm going to have the part one up probably like tomorrow or the day after that. So I'm going to play the game today. I ain't doing no streams today. How do how could like other people join this? Like other people can play with you? I do uh, twice a week now. I'll be playing Call of Duty and shit. I play 2K. I'm going to play some more shit. You know what I'm saying? I play with a lot of people that, that watch us. You know what I mean? I appreciate people to p- popping up. We should do more shit on the No Jumper Twitch. We should talk about our separate streaming endeavors on the podcast no, every day, we should, the we whole should, time. We should do that. We should do it on Twitch. It's a great day to do it. <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> Why not? not? It's so interesting. It's really engaging content. Um, uh, I would like to point out. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I just totally forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> I had something I was like kind of excited to say there for a second. Perhaps oh. I'm gonna refer to the uh, the list here. I'm not gonna lie though. I do feel like goddamn. At least we like got, you feel like got a weight, through that. You feel like a weight off your shoulder. A percentage of a weight, not full like Homer Simpson with the giant boulder on his shoulders and the uh, what was it? The stone cutters. It's not yeah. full stone cutters, but. I feel <laughs> why he watched all the same shows as me. I feel like I don't have enough friends who have like encyclopedic Simpsons and Seinfeld knowledge. I love Seinfeld too, though. Ezra, how old the are office, you? the office knowledge, 
Oh, stupid. 33? Awesome. On it. But to be fair, like, I, I know six seasons of The Simpsons by heart. And then I know, first, like, every episode of Seinfeld, and then I don't know the last few episodes. See, of I feel you, like that with Martin and the Waynes Brothers. You know it like that. Nigga, I watched that shit over I've and over Martin, again. I've seen every Waynes Brothers, seen yes. every Seinfeld, seen a lot of Simpsons, and seen every Curb Your Enthusiasm. The thing with me, though, is I feel like, like I've season seen- season two Curb Your Enthusiasm. Simpsons, oh, Seinfeld, and The Office, I, see, I feel like I've probably seen every episode of those shows, like, 20-plus times. I've probably seen more South Park. Than the Simpsons, probably. I would. There would never to. be another show that I watch anywhere close as I as to much as I watch those now. Because it's like now, if I watch a show one time through, it's like a big deal. You don't fuck with Curb like that, huh? I like Curb, but I, I find like it kind of re- redundant. That's crazy, Josh, bro. You're a fucking disgrace. No, I like it, but do you find it kind of redundant? Yeah, I find it kind of stale. I feel like Curb is no, no. I had all right. The episode when he it, told but. Wanda, what did he tell Wanda? She has nice, uh, this is a big butt or nice boobs yeah, or something nice like touch. that. Oh, that bro. was a really yeah, fun one. That was a great one. My whole thing is, it feels like that's the joke in every episode. It's like, wow, Larry, Larry did something terrible in public, like something extremely rude. How's he gonna get out of this one? And then the the narratives are so ridiculous, which I liked about Seinfeld, but it sometimes feels like the narratives in the story are. And I realize I'm overusing the word narrative, but it's just. It feels kind of forced and ridiculous. You got to get on BMF sometimes. right now. I, that being no. said, JB Smooth was probably the, one of the best parts. Oh, of absolutely. Her. See, when I was absolutely. watching it, I don't think he was on. I don't know about that. What, what season oh, he's, he's, he's the black friend? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, he's, he's super he, funny. Yeah, he's okay, incredible. He's, he comes and he stays for a while. That, that that added a lot to the show, for sure. Nah, yeah. the later seasons are crazy. But, like, I don't know. I relate to him a lot because I Larry? Say, yes. Like I've, I've been, been relating to him and curmudgeon. other old men because, I, like, I feel like I'm just losing things and for, like forgetting things. The other day I was looking for deodorant and I stared at the counter for like no joke like 45 seconds thinking my deodorant was going to be there. I decided it's just not here. I walked out, I looked like in, in a couple other places and I walked back in and it's it's fucking there. There's two different deodorants there. I'm like, what does that say about my brain that there were two different things there that I was looking for and I just didn't see it. Porn That's and scary. Your brain. That's scary. No. It's just old age and weed, probably. I, I I definitely forget a lot of stuff, and I feel like I'm the Larry David and No Jumper, and just you have a very good memory. I I I have a good memory about useless things, and then mm. like important things I always forget, and I just constantly put my foot in my mouth and get myself in stupid ass situations that are very easily avoidable. The other day, I put my kid's diaper on over her underwear. That's stupid. But that's it was stupid. Clean diaper, obviously. So well, yeah, yeah like, but I just somehow like. Even though I've done this, I've put the diaper on a million times. Yeah. Somehow in my brain, it didn't register. Like, she's already wearing underwear. This is not how this works. You need to take the underwear off and then put the diaper on. <sighs> Luckily, we avoided a catastrophe, but it was the cra- could have been bad. The craziest shit that I've seen happen with you is, like, is that you, when you, like, stood up too quick and, like, and fell. And gashed my head open. Shit. That is crazy. That's a little bit concerning. That was weird. But do you know what that was? That was while Lena was gone, and I was going full throttle, like not eating enough and doing too much cardio, and that just was and not see, a good and, combo. And, see that, and that's what's going on with me right now is I'm completely left to my own devices. I've like had used to a, a woman taking care of me mm. for so long, and being single now, I'm like, yo, I have to clean shit. I have to worry about what I'm gonna eat. Can you imagine? Like, I ain't doing it. Eat. I wonder what my life would be like if I didn't have a girl Bruh. basically forcing me to make healthy decisions. I'm ready to wife up a fucking three at this point, bro. Just so I have like, so I don't have to fucking wipe my own ass. Like, this wow. shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, shit I, is I'm crazy. scared of like what my life would be like if I was single. I feel it's, like I'd have to hire like a couple of housekeepers and just be like, here, make sure I don't die or like light anything on fire. I it's, haven't, I haven't been, I, don't, I haven't really been single since I was like sixteen. 17. That's you're scared of being alone. I've been single. Can yeah. you admit that? I mean, yeah, hundred percent. Wait, what'd you say? Not, not. He's like scared of being alone because I feel like oh, you yeah. need to be. Well, I, I actually not, love Lexi, but I feel not like no more though. A weird part of you, like probably should be single. I think. Damn, that's cool. No, like I say that, like I like Lexi a lot. I think you guys are great, but. I don't know. Maybe if you were alone, you would kind of like figure out some shit. I guess that's what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Yeah, you're supposed to be like, Like, when you're alone, you're supposed to be like figuring out who you really are. Yeah. I'm figuring out. I was alone for like 10 years. I kind of, I kind (laughs) of felt that when I like kicked back the liquor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that was your best buddy for a while there. I'm figuring out who I am and I'm not too psyched about it. (laughs) Now, 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 but like even like now, like I drink my wine, you know what I'm saying? Keep it pushing. Like, it'll it, it, it never be the same. But, yo, I, I, I was having that conversation with my fucking trainer this morning. I was like, he was like, 
probably the best thing you could do to increase your testosterone levels would be to stop smoking. And I just immediately had this like realization is that massively cutting back on smoking or not smoking at all would probably be like the best thing I could do for myself in my life at this point. And I'm running from the reality of that. But does it does it hold you back from anything? Probably. Or does it alter how you are? I think probably. I think it probably slows because me down a little bit. Yeah. I've seen how ridiculous and stupid I've been when I was just shit face drunk. It seemed fun, but I'm like, ah, that's not a good representation of who I want to be but today. The testosterone thing probably is like significant enough to make me want to do it. The lung cancer possibilities, you know, it's it's not like I want to never smoke. I just want to like stop doing the thing where I'm basically chain smoking spliffs all day. If, but like considering how successful you are, yeah, you can always like, be better. Well, it's kind of crazy. Like, do you feel like there'd be even more? Yeah. But in a way, also, I feel like for a long time, weed was just like the way I would relax. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I feel like. By the way, how someone must be cutting a crazy turd? Or he's probably like on the Reddit or something. But (laughs) uh, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like definitely there's ways in which I would probably be much further in life if it wasn't for weed. But then I also feel like you need time off from working and shit. And if anything, for a while, weed was kind of like the thing I was using to contextualize me taking a load off at the end of the night. Like, okay. But now it's like all day. Even when we were doing those podcasts 2018, 2019, it's not like I was just getting high as fuck all day. But now I'm kind of smoking all day. No, them fucking uh, music streams we used to do, oh, that, that was bad. you yeah. never been like a smoker like that, huh? No. This is a fake smoker. Hey, I fake smoke. <laughs> but what's not fake is Big Chief, man. Go get yourself some. Yeah. That's like it. That's kind of impressive to not be a stoner. But no, the thing, like the thing is, the thing is, sponsor. is that like weed makes me sleepy. It makes me just want to chill. Like, I think that happens to almost everyone. So you don't smoke at the end of the day, or you couldn't see. Sometimes, yourself, like, like if I if I had a trouble going to sleep, then you know what I'm saying. I'll do that, or I'll do some CBD and I'll go to bed. But but the, did you see the Wiz saying basically that like people who say that they're lazy because of weed, or, or I forget exactly what the quote was, but I kind of took issue with it because I'm like, we all know that weed makes you lazy, right? Like people you, don't smoke weed before they go fucking f- run a marathon. When you like, do it, you do it, as it much after as you them, run the marathon. When you do it as much as he does, I yeah, believe it, that, don't, yeah. it don't affect you at all. But for and, the and average that's person, that's not, not really true. But that's why he's not the, the right person to be speaking on that. Right. That's like, I could say the same thing. I could drink 20, 25 shots. But two two shots may knock somebody down. I'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah. But that's why you saying, like, you should be able to drink 25 shots in a day and get work done is not really fair because, well, I mean, in general, obviously, I'm not trying to compare alcohol and weed because one is, like, infinitely more destructive. 100%. But, yeah, I do think that it's kind of unfair to be like, yeah, weed won't slow you down. Bro, I've seen, like, 15-year-old kids who are just so high that I don't think. Like, like at the store, kids just pulling up who are so stoned and I'm like, bro, there's no way that other things are going well in your life if you're fucking in high school and you're rolling around this fucking high. I, I that to, was my high I was school. To say, bro, I used to be taking Zans and That's, shit. That's fun. Yeah, that Falling was asleep in class. That was my like, whole high school. Papa Zan go fight a pedophile at the Ralphs. Oh my god! <laughs> I tried. You gotta to, say that in a bar. I gave him. Oh my god! Oh, listen, I, That's I was, amazing having White John on news today. That was amazing. I watched that instantly. Yo. Papa Zan to go fight a pedophile wait, wait, wait. so we can't molest a child. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, but before before we dive in too deep on that, let me just say, in high school, I took a Zan in like fourth period or whatever. What, how many periods? Was it six or something yeah, like six, that? Yeah, six, right? Nigga, I took, a, I took a Zan in fourth period. I woke up in that same classroom in the back at like 8 p.m. Like they just left me in there, closed the door. <laughs> How'd you even get out? Isn't the whole school locked at a Nigga, certain point? Nigga, I used to hop the fence all the time and go to Burger King and all the other shit. So the Cougar just, Burger? Wow. Cougar yeah. Burger. That's is actually this from insane. a continuation school? Or no, this is from Hawthorne is, High School. Hawthorne? <laughs> like, how Hawthorne did they High. think you weren't dead? Like, you know, like maybe they went over and checked your pulse, but shouldn't they also at that moment be like, all right, let's maybe they get him out know. of here. Maybe That's they Monta. Know. He's failing anyway. Let's go. I but definitely. they found a fucking dead body in the high school like 10 hours after school ended? That's not good for the school, right? You think Somebody's they'd be a little bit more concerned. They would have like buried me under the fucking football field or something. Just act like it didn't happen. <laughs> Fifty yard line. <laughs> no, for real. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Under the bleachers? Under the bleachers is crazy. Wow. Let me see a letter again. Drugs like like I was thinking earlier, I was like, 
damn, like I still made so many dumbass mistakes in sobriety. Yeah. What's the like? Is it a big deal? Like, should I still be getting fucked mm. up? And then I realized. I be thinking about that all the time. But then I was like, I wouldn't even be able. I'm like heading to my job at No Jumper. There's no way I would be on time. There's no way I'd be able to function. Get any of the shit. Yeah, done. look at me. Yeah, just look at me as an example. Don't are, don't do it again. Yeah, but are you getting fucked up right now? I was honestly. You almost pushed me to the point of fucking going off the deep end. For real, you laughing? That's, nigga. That, well, that's what I was hoping you wouldn't say. But yeah, not the deep end, but like you know, like I have uh, not, you know, coped with shit the right way a lot of times in life. This time, I was like, I'm not going to use that as a fucking excuse to go get fucked up. For one of the first times in a really long time, honestly. That's honestly amazing to hear. Because, bro, on some real shit, nigga, it started on Thanksgiving. That was my first Thanksgiving without my mom. That was the first time I got fucked up. Then, uh, I didn't get fucked up for the live show or nothing like that, but then Christmas, I got fucked up. New Year's, I got fucked up. And then my mom's birthday, January 9th, I got fucked up. Mm. So every other time, except for this time, but are you like I, I I use getting fucked up when to you cope. say getting fucked up? Are you like I'm talking about bad? full like mm. drinking for two days straight, doing a bunch of blow, like being I'm being honest, yeah. like you know. No, it's crazy because we always are kind of like wondering privately, like you think he's getting fucked up right now? So it's kind of it's kind of crazy to hear you yeah, be no, so open. I've called Lush yeah. a couple of times if I'm being honest. Yeah, no, like we we like I try to because the thing is I get scared. When my homies are doing blow nowadays, cause or That's any true. drug, that fent, man. Yeah, fool, that shit is all bad. I literally was just in New York speaking at a fentanyl awareness conference, and one of the dudes that I was with, like uh, the my other panelists, is this dude, really cool dude named Tommy from Wisconsin, and he just buried his son, fool, a mm. hundred days ago. It was like a hundred days ago at the time, and and he didn't know. And the, the fucked up part is like the testing strips they have for fentanyl are illegal. Really? Yeah, like it's it's crazy. Like, look, it's bioterrorism. I don't want to get too deep into it, but like, yeah, but here's another thing too. The pharmaceutical industry, how they're trying to push this agenda. There's another dude, right? And he was he was a pro cannabis activist. Or act, not activist. That was a Freudian slip. Advocate. advocate, fucking um, Active, activist, advocate. yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. But I was thinking of like lean activists. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Go ahead. Yeah. You can't Anyways, help a rap, can yeah. You? So this Give dude, he, he had a two year old. His two year old son was the youngest ever medical marijuana patient in the world. Right. He had severe like case of cancer. So they they got him put on, and he, now he's nine, and he's doing a lot better. You feel me? Cancer free. Blah da 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 da. Right. When um. When he was two, the doctors wanted to put him on, when he got diagnosed, they wanted to put him on hella opiates, right? And he was like, no, nah, I don't want him on opiates. Could we try cannabis? Like, could we try to get some kind of cannabis uh, medication going on? You know what they tried to do? Call child services on him. Mm. Like, it's okay to pump him full of opiates, but take can- uh, take something cannabis related, yeah. which is super, like, benign and non-volatile they're gonna call cps on you so it just fucked up the way the country is but yeah anyway that shit terrifies me and i know that you know homies using is all bad but when you add that added layer to it like it just makes it even scarier yeah it's just like bro i've rolled the dice with taking random shit and like obviously i don't like when i have dabbled recently like i haven't um you know, bought from nobody that I didn't, you know, view as a trusted source or nothing like that. And never bought from anybody random or anything like that. But still, at the end of the day, bro, it's just, it's such a fucking roll of the dice, bro. Not even just that. Like, what if it's like some other shit? What if you fucking, like, you know, get a fucking crazy sinus infection or what if it. We're all does super this? lucky that we survived the duration of this podcast without getting fucked on that shit because me and him used to be bad. Honestly, yeah. that's like probably why we have like a kinship or like a bond that yeah. is apparently no, somewhat look, durable. Is look, okay, all right, all right, wait, going wait. through that shit is a lot. Let me well, let me speak on this, bro. That's one problem that I really had with you was the way that like I knew, like in some weird twisted way, that when you were like getting on me about doing drugs, it was because you cared and because you <laughs> probably realistically could see me. Doing more and like 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 you see that like you know me doing that was a direct relation of like <laughs> me not showing up as much and shit like that, but I just I feel like you uh you like went about it the wrong way and you were like I would always be like 
nigga, how are you trying to like play holier than thou right now when we were doing this shit together? And you were older than I am right now mm -hmm. when I when we were doing drugs together. So it's like if you're gonna preach that, oh yeah, like you know, like you know, I got I got my shit together, you know, whatever. I'm just like nigga, you ain't. I don't even think get, I ever said that. You, you didn't. It, to but, be honest with you, like. I always figured that you would just get it together drug wise when you were ready to, because that's exactly what happened with me. I didn't fucking stop because somebody told me to. I stopped because I saw enough people die from it, and I was getting hangovers that were lasting two fucking days. So I just stopped. Oh, that's the and, worst part, bro. And it's just not worth it at a certain point. Like at a certain point, you gotta start having different priorities in life, you know. And yeah, I, mean, I couldn't imagine I, talking for hours on end doing this loaded. Oh. I, oh, no. I could pop a Zan and talk for like eight hours. It'd probably be the <laughs> best live stream I ever done in my whole fucking life. I was just I'll probably say eighteen things that'll get me in trouble, but I used to say retarded ass shit. I just Bro. pulled up to the show to get the back end. I just popped the perk and said I felt like Batman. Mm. Shout out to Beezy. Great reference. Um but it for is. me personally, yeah, I, I that shit I would never shut up off that. Yeah. No, nah, but um yeah, dog, like honestly, phone at your age, I was hadn't even reached my apex yet the fact that you're yeah. even trying to get it together yeah. has because you are yeah, you're you still, are still young, young fool like you you're know younger I mean? than i was when but I was you're, you're like pretty mature for your age maybe because my uh, yeah i just don't y'all should see i'll be annoying the shit out of my girl <laughs> i didn't say i was like 34 or 35 maybe, yeah, yeah well, you said you didn't stop till you was 34 probably because i'm 39 now and i feel like you're i stopped like four now? years ago basically I always forget. No, i'm 39 I thought you just turned 40 no, i just turned 39 i, got I didn't one, even know you was that old left with a three in front of my name I remember how bad turning 30 was and how depressing that shit was. I can't even believe I'm about to hit 40. You didn't like that shit? It just made me feel like, holy fuck, I'm, I I'm 30 and I'm doing all the same shit. I was still just going out riding bikes every day. It's like, when I turned 30, no, not no jumper didn't even exist yet. I was really starting to have like a real fucking crisis of like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Because financially, I was just stalled out. Like, it was all right, but it wasn't anything really. I think I started at 30. Started with drugs? No, no jump What are you? Because you've been here like three <laughs> years, three basically, years, right? right? Like March, it'd be three years, right? Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, bro, that's, that's crazy because, bro, like, yeah, there was always people in and out. Don't get me wrong, but it was like, nigga, it was literally me, him, cam girl, like, as far as people on camera, like, fucking. Was, yeah, you were the only people on camera for, like, well, Robesman. Yeah. But, but besides but remember, him. Remember, he, he left, like, 20, what, 17? Yeah. Like, Maybe 2018? Pretty much when we got to Melrose. I don't yeah. remember, did a few like, pods the, the other people. I remember, like, when it was you and then Cam Girl and, like, yo. But before AD, there wasn't really anybody I, who was I remember like, Yuri. I remember Yuri camera. being yeah. on there. Yeah, because the live streams were different. The live streams would have, like, literally anybody we were yeah. hanging out with. I remember Yuri being There was a lot of people there. when I watch back old clips of shit that happened on those live streams where I'm like, look at this dude sitting here for no literally reason. Zero reason. Just literally to get the clout of being there while the certain thing was happening, but it was our fault for having mad chairs open just sitting there, you know? Yeah. In a bike shop. I got pissed stairs. so bad. I got to go. All right. <laughs> all right, bro. Should have left them all on the stairs. But yeah. What a day, guys. You know how many fucking people were like, you better sue them, you better sue them. I'm like, I'm about to sue these niggas. Think about I just think you need a Jamba Juice sponsorship now. You what? know what I'm saying? A drink throwing contest or something at the Olympics? That shit, I mean, that's your game. thing, man. You, you two for two. Sure. That's your pa that's your Pokemon the lady, move for sure. The lady ain't, what's a KFC? I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get over to him fast enough to try to fire off on him. Or I you should have you should have did one of these. Like, you know what, man? I'm done with this company. Mm. You know, oh, and Dan did that. Oh, <laughs> you really? But you wanted to get over to him real bad because, like, man, it was a nat it was a natural response. I, man. It was, yeah, I, like that wasn't was, scripted. That wasn't. You know, bro, I didn't even think about that shit. As soon as he said, "I fucking paid for your mom's funeral," I was already getting up by the time before he finished what he was saying. Tone came out of nowhere, bro. That nigga, black noir. I like this. Watch out, Tone. If, Let him have shit. If if, uh, if AD hadn't reached the car, because I feel like the engine had started and everything. Oh, uh, we was out of here, bro. Like, do you feel like it ever? He would have had to. He would have had to call me and fucking begged me to fucking darken these doors ever again. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I kind of felt like I was off it, bro. I, I felt like Robin at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> you my little homie. I'll fuck with that. I felt like Robin. Yeah. Yeah. Are no, actually, funny, I'm, I'm I'm Alfred the Butler. Fuck all that. No. Nah. <laughs> no, I was Robin. Look, my whole thing is moment. like, bro. I'm not an easy nigga. I'm like, I'm not a hard nigga that uh, 
like I don't like, I don't take shit to heart that deeply. E- even though this was like a very big situation for me, bro. It's not like I wanted to like be mad at Adam or wanted to be for nothing like that. Like so like if he wouldn't have been so combative, I wouldn't have tripped. No, but it was like he came him. out the gate hella combative, and I'm just like, nigga. Bro, we told a nigga. You're not even let me get my. We told a nigga me. hour uh, hour before we got on, like, nigga, let this nigga get his shit off. I don't go fuck what that nigga say. Let him pop his shit. I could have said, nigga, you you had a map and you planned this shit out and you did this. like, yeah, nigga, like whatever, like. But that's the thing is like they don't understand like <laughs> about like. The brotherhood. <laughs> Let's do it like this. <laughs> they don't understand. Uh, they know a different kind of brotherhood. The Aryan, Aryan brotherhood. brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> but you feel me? Like, they don't understand. White power! They don't understand, like, Dwight Howard. really having a problem. <laughs> they don't understand really pro- having a problem with one of your homies, like, and, like, having to get that shit off your chest. But like, that, that's like, not even know? mutually exclusive to race in reality. That's, I don't like, know. It's, that's like, pushing. the white homies do not. Like, have a friendly fade and then go back to being cool. No. I never heard one white homie even, like, even fucking, like, fathom something like that. No, nah, th- th- I mean, I don't know. I, well, like, unless it, unless they are on that type of time, like, right. they gang banging and, like, you know, gangs to uh, white. But, the white but also, it. it's just, like, there's not, that whole thing was crazy. <laughs> it's, hey, wait, 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 hold on. Since we just being on Adam's head today, White John did say some, some uh, very important things as far as, like, Nigga, he's got into hella viral fights where he won. Well, not hella, but you know, but at I least feel like multiple. Those fights he's talking about were like back in the day before we even posted shit like that. And he, also, he, he we retracted we, all those statements. We can't even post mm. the, like fights anywhere besides Twitter. So yeah, I mean, okay. Yeah. He, he did but if he has that. fades that he wants to get out there, he should hit up Gina. <laughs> Gina views can help get those up. For or sure. hit up Remo. Hit up Remo. Let's post them. I mean. Honestly, I do feel bad for White John and all that because I do still feel like he's a he's a brawler. He's a tough dude. What, he White just happened John, to run into a tough ass fucking young kid. White John is very solid, and that those, and those tough. dudes were very so, are very solid too. The the pedophile catchers. The crazy shit about it is I've seen so many episodes of uh, To Catch a Predator, and I never seen that plot twist. I never seen the, the yeah. I never seen nobody fire off on Earth. I mean, that's a great idea though. Like, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna whoop their ass afterwards. But that's but that that that's not part of their plot. They don't plot on. They weren't their gonna ass. beat them up. Oh, White yeah, John yeah, just yeah. showed so up. So White John just did what he did. No, so, yeah. so, so check he game. just happened to be. At I the thought routes. that was the whole business no, model. No, I was with it. You want to no. know the craziest thing I learned from listening to White John on the pod on the news earlier is that those dudes were waiting at that Ralph's from noon to seven p.m. Seven hours to meet up with that guy. That's, That's how nuts. much they cared about running up on this dude to get this content, I guess. Yeah. I mean, like, just think about what you got to put yourself through in order to even... They say they have, like, a network of homegirls that are, like, luring them via... Oh, so they different... do this all the time? Yeah. Oh, I, I, thought, like, I thought the one-off. business model was... They catch them and they whoop their ass. No, yeah, yeah, I'm no. like, they, they that's tried. amazing. No, they try nah, to nobody avoid. Nobody can do that, bro. I know, but I was <laughs> like, nigga, yeah, that's amazing. You would not though. last too long on YouTube. They try to avoid doing that because, like, look, let's say I don't that, think any of, of the other YouTuber niggas have done that. But they're not. right though, because White John, like, why did they not have his back? Like, he was down to punch somebody in the face for their YouTube video, and then they just go, "Oh, little man, hard. He hard." <laughs> <laughs> they go, "The little homie called." Or what, something nigga, shit. turn around. Y'all want some of this? What? what no. Yeah. I couldn't believe that shit. What they said was because they don't want to. If they wind up packing this fool out, and then let's say he has like serious head trauma, gets badly injured. Or dies, yeah. then they, that's a, like a serious case. That's why Chris Hansen wasn't swinging on the dudes. <laughs> Chris Hansen, it's a lot nah, of liability. So didn't he get in trouble for something too? But I think for like yeah, cheating, but that was right? Un- unrelated. Yeah. unrelated. I was like, what the fuck did it he do? It wasn't like that though. Really. Yeah. Some kind of, I thought he was like embezzlement or some. I other clicked shit. on uh, a, a Catch a Predator clip on YouTube the other day, and it was one where Chris Hansen knew the guy. He knew him because they used to take the train together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He and he's just like, Brian, what are you doing here? <laughs> What, Brian Pumper? <laughs> nah, no, different guy. Remember that? I just heard you say train and Brian. I, I imagine Brian Pumper on to catch a predator. Bro, if that yeah. had happened. Oh my God. Not that he would ever do such a Brian thing. Brian Pumper cracking eggs on bitches' heads when he hits it. Did we ever figure out why Academics got an egg broke on his head, Brian Pumper style? What? Did Who he, did that? You see that? It was like a I've Twitch seen that clip. Shit. I, I just don't understand how. The that girl happened. just walked by and did that shit. Because <sighs> he seemed like he didn't fun. care. He's just like, well, I don't know. 
Is it for content? Maybe he knew to do this. Speaking of academics and for content. And sharp. I watched like 20 minutes of academics reacting Amazing to his stream earlier. Amazing content. So why did, why did Sharp just was pissed I off watched about an him hour sharp. Oh, yeah. in general? I watched an hour of academics. Yeah, I've seen a little bit. I'm just, what did he say about Sharp Sharp, sharp felt like Acme passive aggressive when he be saying shit about no jumper. So he's like, nigga, it's on the Blueface um, interview. Mm-hmm. Blueface and him was talking about this shit, and he was like, yeah, he just, you know, he spoke that shit. And then Act fucking heard that. But Act don't fuck with Blueface or something like that, right? Right now. No, they want to fight each other and they're shit. They're doing this shit every, he's, they, they're going at each other every day. So I wouldn't even, like, you can't take academics seriously in that, in that sense, uh, at, like, like, if I was sharp because of the interview was with Blueface, and Blueface... Is, well, I think he's talking about in general because the same way I felt a certain way, and I said, "Yeah, nah, I'll fight be, him." And then, and then, be, and and then be he, honestly, he be meat riding, uh, fucking sharp. Like he be giving sharp his flowers. You feel me? No, he gives sharp his flowers. Yeah, because he said in the video I saw him reacting, he said, "What's getting lost in this? I didn't is even, I'm a fan of sharp." Yeah, he's you know, saying I, that. I, I likes him. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Probably, like, but, but, I think he likes but, him more than anyone else. But the, the same, I think he said. the same, the same way I feel like, nigga, like, what are you yeah. talking about? And I'll mm-hmm. fight you. Yeah. He's like, nigga, I'm talking about. Content only. He's not talking about personal. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And he uh, he said the same thing talking to Sharp. He's like, I'm talking about the content. He feels he's the best. He's better than everybody when it comes down to content. And I feel like Sharp probably took it how everybody else took it. Like nigga, like you want some you want some tough shit. Like nigga, what mm. you talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when that happened, then <laughs> it's crazy because Sharp fucking. Is stopping the video and reacting to everything, and the academics do the same shit. Yeah. He's pausing it and he's doing the same shit. But yeah. I would love to see them two get on and debate each other. It is oh. a crazy feeling when you're watching somebody react to somebody reacting to something, which I find myself doing all the time oh, online now because it lets you save fucking time by watching, like, oh, I can get Destiny's perspective on a fresh and fit debate with, you know, like, and it just saves you a lot of fucking time. Sharp telling this fool, like, you could like you could never do uh, go through what I did, church. You could never get it out the streets like I did. We are not the same. And then Axe's response is like, "Motherfucker, I got a biochemistry degree. Yeah, that was great. from Rutgers, and I'd still be making a quarter." He said, "I'd be making a quarter I million." Didn't do this shit, and uh, dude, this fool said, "I would be treating." Like your hoes, that your mid ass hoes that fucking <laughs> came to the hospital. I'd be the doctor treating them because you couldn't protect them. Like his whole narrative was like the, his perspective was crazy. But then Sharp was getting, bruh, it's they was both going crazy. Sharp, until I saw X response, I was like, damn, that was like, I'm waiting to hear the ether instrumental in the background. Like Sharp went in so fucking cold. But then, bruh, like. I didn't see the new one because it was taken down. I don't know if it's up now though. Oh, but I think I saw Ack reacting to the Sharp thing. No, the Sharp a, took the original down. No, there right? was another one. I think he did what today. He responded oh, to the, again. He responded to the response of a response. How was he that was, sound? I didn't hear it because it, it was taken down by the time. I don't think it's like he's still like. I think that's what's dope about this back and forth is they're both like being calculated and just real cold about it and cerebral and just talking their shit without getting too emotional. That's yeah. like I would like to see them get along. I feel like they could do great content together. I don't think this is gonna end bad. I feel no? like it's yeah. All right, good. Yeah. That would be ideal. I'll put them on the Discord with each other. That would be great. Yeah. They're both pretty fucking long winded. I feel like that'd be like a four hour Twitch stream, but I'm here Ak for it. needs to come to No Jumper regardless. We need Ak in the building. He's, you know, been fucking with a lot of the content. Was supposed to arrange a fade that didn't go down. The is fade it, is supposed to be That's what, still some, planned? That was yesterday. Yeah. The fade was supposed to be yesterday. Well, don't worry, buddy. I got a fight for you. He did tell me a while ago no, that he was wait. coming here soon. I was, I I was excited, bro. Look, I know. Well, he you was got ready. a fight for him? This nigga, this nigga been training. To fight? Excited. He's been training. Wow. You've been like doing boxing classes or not classes? I have a fucking boxing coach. Whoa, one on one. I'm boxes. trying to pull up too, and that's why, I like, yeah, it's good. Where? It's at? Good, good. It's um, um yeah. you don't have to tell me on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to think about that, but but it's in the Valle. But nah, but um, even like when I saw, because now Flacco has a potential fade too. Um, mm-hmm. Against one of the the pedophile catchers, who's a fucking boxer, but Flacco squared up with him. Like backwards, I was like, "Damn, I should have took the fade when Wait I had a the minute. chance." Wait, why why does Flacco have to fight the pedophile hunters? Because what was Flacco it, Josh? got a fight with Kyrie? Josh, you, you Josh, one of the, the chat. How did this happen? What was I the did, context I didn't, I didn't of the pedophile 
God, do you remember? Are they boxing or are they racing? <laughs> if, if so it's not like loses, a fight. It's no, like a competition. No. If he loses the race to one of them, he has to box the other what one. What makes this even more funnier is I'm on stream with China Mac and ODM Slim, and I'm telling ODM Slim, like, hey, uh, you was you you was managing Kelpie and you did this and did that. And he's like, man, he's like, the only reason I came to No Jumper, I wanted to race Waco. <laughs> <laughs> what the Let's fuck? Go, really? <laughs> That's what he said. Oh my now, god. Flacco <laughs> squared up with bro with his dominant hand uh, in the front, and I was like, oh bro. Well, he said he's never been in a fight, right? I didn't know. Did you see fuck China Mac wilding out he, on Math Hoffa on live? Yeah, well, I, hey, I that like was a good time. I like that shit too because they the say their names. Each Jonathan, he's like, what, what's the other name? Justin. <laughs> Justin. They just kept calling oh, each other their yeah. actual hey, first names, hey. which I would not know. Well, I still don't remember, but I wouldn't have known about that otherwise. Amazing, amazing. Well, I guess because Math said, amazing. Math said that uh, China Mac shouldn't. Basically, he's a guest in hip hop culture, mm. and uh, China Mac's like, yo, I'm fucking. Born and raised in the mecca of hip hop, I've been a part of this shit since the '80s. How the fuck am I? I guess. How long was that full clip? Because I only saw a 15 minute version. Did they keep going? <sighs> I'm not sure. See, I, that's a beef that for some reason I'm interested in. I don't think th th they know too many of the same people. It's not gonna like. Yeah, be, yeah. Like, I think it's gonna be chill. But do you buy uh, his China Max reason for being mad at Math Hoffa, which was basically like the fact that he talked about Tax Stone's case? on a show and it's an open case like that's why I stopped fucking with him I'm like is that really the reason because I feel like Math, Math left uh, China Mac on red too because that came out that they, like, at one point China was hitting him up to do content together and Math Hoffa was leaving him on red Cause I, I think that's I, more of it though I felt like yeah, yeah that's what I feel like is yeah. more of I feel like the, the, the thing with uh, the other thing is kind of like a red herring when people are mad at each other they could just search for any little inconsistency that they look at as a character flaw and then lean into that and that's that's why I don't fuck with you but it's really something completely different mm, mm. Yeah. that's what I was on with Adam for sure <laughs> I'm like I'm like this I'm start, I started thinking about every little thing I'm like you know what hold on that nigga did do some weird shit six years ago. <laughs> Cue the juice, bro. I was... <laughs> Should I Uber Eats another job? But that's or... how many. Uh, that's I'll like so many game. arguments online play out into that. It's like you have a, dis a disagreement, so then you basically just go full nuclear and say the worst things that you could possibly say about each other that have nothing to do with the initial disagreement. Get them all. Nah, off. but you Get know what though? Off. Nah, you know what though? Like, I thought about that, but I was like, bro, <laughs> like. One, I'm going to just look like the asshole. And then two, it's like, I'm just not a malicious person like that, bro. Like, I'm not trying to be malicious to you, bro. Like, on some real shit, nigga, you really, like, changed my life, bro. I was doing nothing when I met you, bro. On some real shit. And, I, I, and if I don't say that to you enough, I will say it to you right now. I probably sound crazy as fuck right now. Well, I appreciate that, but the truth is, is that I was on. Fuck this nigga. I was on no, pretty fuck close to. <laughs> no, fuck this nigga too. I was on pretty close to zero at the time too. I had like a little inkling of a thing going understand? with no jumper. Like, you nigga, know, I am so weird and I'm so internet kid. Like I was sitting at home after all those weird ass parties and shit like that, nigga. I couldn't sleep. That was why I would throw on fucking you talking to some fucking rapper for two hours. You feel me? And then you like, hey, you want to come be on this shit? I'm like, fuck yeah, I'll come be on it. And I just never stopped being on it from then, you feel me? So like, you know, but like, I also think that, you know, I think that I'll let you get away with a lot of shit that I wouldn't have put up with from other people in normal situations because of the fact that I have this respect for you and the fact that I like, you know, whenever people are, are like, mad at you about something and they complaining to me, they always like, you helped him build that up and you helped do this, da da da. And I do like like not even trying to toot my own horn or nothing. I do agree with that. But I also don't think that people look at it from the other side of that nigga. I wasn't doing shit. Like I literally was in between jobs. I had just got fired from both jobs. And it's like that's why I have this like loyalty to you, bro, because I wasn't doing shit, bro. I mean, like, and, and I appreciate that, but I also feel the same way. Is like literally, if Lush started like not showing up, it would be like I would just be like, "What the <laughs> fuck? Like, why is Lush being so unprofessional? We gotta get somebody else." Like, mm. you know, it's like I've given you a long ass leash because I just like yeah. know you since the fucking old ass apartment in Koreatown would be yeah, in yeah. whoever, and you know, it's like we do have that kind of connection. And the older I get, the, honestly, like the more I realize, like you gotta 
people you have that kind of history with, you got to like hold, hold on, on to, to it. it huh? If, yeah. if you that. can, because I mean, I done fell out with hella people that I was cool with for a long ass time. And mostly it was just because of the business. Because at some point they started working for me and that just fucks it and, up. Like and that, that just poisons everything. Yeah. If you want to keep a friendship, just don't, don't ever work, work together. together. Yeah. And it'll be so much easier to, to be, you know, friends for the long and, run. And that was, and that was my whole thing too, where it was like, you know, you don't want your legacy. You want your legacy to be, yeah, I started this dope ass company and I helped a lot of people. You don't want the legacy to be like, oh, I don't get along with nobody no more and yeah. people don't fuck with me and shit like that. And it looks like that at the end of the day. You know what I mean? That's, That's real, yeah. yeah. 1,000. We don't want to, we don't want to go out like death row records or some shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But also, like, I think to me, out from a, somewhat inside but really outside perspective on this whole thing. Mm. I think what I really hope all parties gleam from this. You got juice on Cardi B. She like it though. Um <laughs> is communication and how important it is. And I feel like if there had been like more communication between all parties involved earlier and these resentments and these barriers didn't get to where they were at and resentments didn't fester to the point where they did, this all could have been possibly avoided if there was more trust and communication from all parties involved. And that like goes beyond just us here or just the two of y'all. That's like everyone over here. If we a team, we gotta fucking be a team. And I've learned that from myself. I gotta act like more of a teammate. And I think that that you know, goes for every single person that sits on these couches. Well, I do feel like if we're going to prosper in the long run, we do need to, like, go out of the way, our way to, like, actually hang out and, like, be yeah. more of, like, real friends, which probably House Phone is not 100% in the mood to do that with me at this exact <laughs> moment in time. <laughs> but, you know, maybe once a little bit more time goes by, it's like, I really feel like we got to, like, actually make the effort to fucking go I'm out. Still going and to Italy, nigga. What the fuck? I don't take him, take him to Korean barbecue. <laughs> I might have to cop you some tickets for that. Ooh, <laughs> cop me some too, man. No, nah, no, nah, you, you good. <laughs> Caffeine can pay for nah, that. Nah, you good. <laughs> nah, you good is crazy. Caffeine can pay for nah, it. You good. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we're going to leave? We done? We out. I'm hungry as fuck. We, uh, we hungry. Enzo, okay. you got me? Shout out to everybody who watched Enzo. this debacle. Ezo yeah. cuts, Ezo. Ezo. I was rolling in the Benzo with Lorenzo. They don't understand that reference. Come on, bro. We're here, though. I don't got a blunt, but I'm smoking on a pen, though. And that was a long time before people knew that they could also rhyme benzo. Right. Mm. Even though Zans probably were around at the time. And and I'm really glad that both of y'all are friends, yo. Mm. (laughs) We don't pretend that. Back in 2016, we used to be on Skid Row. Mm -hmm. Shouts to the homie Sharp allegedly used to pimp hoes. Mm.